Naughty bark. Mark lives on a farm with his dog Bart. Bart is a naughty dog who breaks Mark's heart. He spills the water and bites the papers. He jumps in the garden and steps on the flowers. He barks at the chicken and chases after the sheep. He makes the farm a mess until he goes to sleep. One day, a bird stands on the cart. Bart chases after the bird until it's dark. Bart walks along the road to the market. A baker gives him some food to eat. The baker finds the tag and calls Mark. Mark drives a car to get Bart home in the dark. The end. Who is the real Claire? Claire had a super birthday party. Mom made a hamburger for Claire. Dad gave her a new skirt. Oh look! A pretty bird was there. It had purple feathers. It went behind the curtain and just vanished. Another Claire came out. Dad got a good idea. Who knows my password? That's my birthday, one of them answered. It worked, and everything was gone. It was a dream. Welcome to the real world, said Dad. The end. A farm trip. Jack and his family are driving in a car. Today, they are going to a farm that is far. In the wind, the windmill turns. In the stove, the firewood burns. In the field, Jack becomes a farmer. On the road, Dad becomes a driver. They feel happy. Even when their clothes are dirty, they drink some water when they are thirsty. On their faces, there is a red color. Jack says that is his honor. Very soon, the sky. Gets dark. They hear nothing but a few dogs bark. The end. Smart Mort. Mort 
is the smartest horse ever born. He can be tall or short. He can say hi to his friends on the porch. He can enjoy the music in the corner. He can eat grass with a fork. He can put the corn in order. He can tell which way is north. He can carry the corn to the shore. He can come back home before night. He can play the horn to have more fun. He can ignore the noise by reading a book. Ah! He can also snore! The end. Who is Paul? Hawk has a friend named Paul. Paul likes to draw. Paul plays on the seesaw. Paul eats slaw. Paul never drinks with a straw. Paul wants to have a small jaw. Paul has a landau. Paul cannot haul. Paul always hurts his paw. What? A paw? Who is Paul? Paul is a dinosaur. The end. Who's on the shore? Mort goes to the port one day. There are some paw prints on the shore. These prints are too big to ignore. Mort saw the prints before. It was on a book about giant animals. Is it a dinosaur? Mort walks along the shore. He sees more paw prints. A big jaw around the corner. Mort can hear the snore. It is a dinosaur. His name is Paul. The end. A nice day at the fair. Bright light and fresh air. What a nice day to play at the fair. Blair brushes her hair. So does the hair. Blair and the hair run down the stairs. She 
puts on her shoes that are in a pair. They ride a bike and go to the fair. Blair shoots the balloons and gets a bear. The hare stares at the hairy bear. It gives the hare a real scare. Blair buys four pears to share with the hare. They sit on a chair and enjoy the pears. Blair and the hare have fun at the fair. The end. Ted the bear. Ted is a lovely bear who lives alone. His head looks very big, but his eyes are a little bit small. Ted eats bread at breakfast. Ted likes pears best. Ted wears a sweater in summer. Does he feel hot in summer? Does he sweat? In summer, he doesn't feel hot. In summer, he doesn't sweat. In summer, he swears that it is all true because he is a polar bear. The end. A deer full of fear. A mir once went camping near a lake. He drank beer when it was getting late. He went out to walk with his spear. A deer then appeared. The spear made the deer full of fear. The deer saw a cliff that was sheer. A mere jeered at the deer, who gave a cry of fear. Angel. Could hear the cry with her big ears. She could fly to the deer with her big wings. She made the spear disappear. She made it clear that no one could hurt the deer. Amir went back. The deer and angel cheered. The end. Animals in the zoo. Tigers play in pairs. Monkeys climb up the stairs. Pandas like to share. Wolves like to scare. Raccoons feed on bread. Giraffes stick out their heads. 
Under the tree stands a bear. He stands up high to get the pear. In the woods hides a deer. She waits there for her peer. I go to the zoo every year. I watch animals without fear. The end. Roy and Troy. Roy the boy sails with joy. He brings lots of things for the voyage. He brings some oil. He brings some coins. He brings many toys which give him joy. Troy the puppy digs holes in the soil. Come on, Troy. Join me on the voyage. Roy shares his toys with Troy the puppy. Toys are something they could both enjoy. Roy sings in a very loud voice. Troy barks and makes lots of noise. Roy and Troy both enjoy the voyage. The end. The mouse and the owl. There is a brown mouse who lives in a town. He is very proud. He can speak out loud. Because there are no cats now. A snake lives next to the mouse. The mouse often steals her flower. She calls the policewoman cow. The cow is not in the town. Then she finds her friend Owl. Each night, the owl makes the sound meow. The mouse thinks the cat is in the town now. He never steals the flower again. The end. A fancy dress party. Lulu and her friends are having a fancy dress party in her room. There is a goose who wears big boots. There is a panda who likes bamboo. There is a witch who rides on a broom. There is a pirate whose left hand is a hook. There is a dog who can wag and woof. There is a kitty who plays with a ball of wool. There is a kangaroo who can hop, hop, hop. 
There is a rooster who says cock a doodle do. There is a raccoon who looks cool. Dad dresses as a cook who brings lots of food. Every one of them is in a very good mood. The end. Sue's ruse. Sue is going on a cruise. She gets to the place where she finds many fruits. She gets to the place where everything is blue. She gets to the place where she only finds many statues. She gets to the place where every leaf has dew. She gets to the place where people like juice. She gets to the place where people like boxes of tissues. She gets to the place where people like to wear suits. She gets to the place where people like to brew tea. She chews some fruit and goes on her cruise. She soon finds the glue that she has glued. Sue gets back home. A toy of sounds. Miss Anne has a toy of sounds. It can make the sounds of many animals. Woof, woof. What is this sound? It's the sound of a dog. Moo, moo. What is this sound? It's the sound of a cow. Honk, honk. What is this sound? It's the sound of a goose. What is this sound? We don't have any clue at all. <laughs> Miss Anne starts laughing. It's just the noise of a man chewing some fruit. The end. Smith and Mom. Smith and Mom go to the market one day. They make a shopping list on the way. Mom gets some flowers that smell good. Smith gets some snacks and some sweets. Mom gets a broom that can sweep. Smith gets a toy car that goes beep, beep. Mom gets Smith a sweater with a Batman. 
Smith gets mom a sweater with a swimming swan. On the way home, the ground is covered with snow. Smith and mom go out to play when they arrive home. Mom builds a big snowman. Smith builds a small one. Mom has a nice smile on her face. So does Smith. The end. If Pete. Pete runs very fast. If he is in a race, he must come first. Pete hurts his waist. If he takes a rest, he will get better. Pete gets a new mask. If he wears it, his mom must ask who he is. Pete gets a new disc. If he puts it on the desk, his dog will hold it in its mouth. Pete looks at the gift. If he opens it, he will see something soft. Pete goes up in a lift. If he goes home, will he turn right or left? The end. Snow day. It is snowing. What a beautiful day! Come on, Jenny. It's time to play. We run and jump in the snow. The snow is very soft. We slide in the snow. The slide is so fast. We make a big snowman. The snowman has a mask. The parents. Sweep the snow before the door. Can you give us a hand? They ask with a smile. Of course, Mom and Dad. Take a rest. Next time, we'll do the job first. The end. What do I like to do? My name is Claire. I like to do many things. I like to go to school. I can get a high score on my math tests. I like to skate with my friends together. I like to watch movies on a big screen. I like to ski in winter. I like to wear my blue scarf 
When the weather gets cold, I like to sketch and write in my house. I like to fly a kite in the playground. Look, there is a kite in the sky. That is mine. The end. First day of school. It's little spider's first day of school. He wears a hat, and it looks cool. He packs all the things that he may need. He runs to school at top speed. He learns how to spell his name. He and his classmates play a game. He draws a star on the stone. He goes to the store to get an ice cream cone. He spends his spare time doing sports. He likes the story about outer space. The day gets dark. There will be a storm. Mom comes to school and gets him home. The end. said the little sister. They were flying across the street. I can see the sprig sprout, said Mom. The street is busy. The strong man is screwing, and the woman is scrubbing, said Elisa. Spring is coming. We are back," said Dad. The end. Eight squirrels. The weather was splendid yesterday. Eight. Squirrels came to the square to play. They were split into two groups. They wore different uniforms. There were some stress balls. Four squirrels. Squeezed the balls with fingers and toes. There were some dumbbells. 
four squirrels splayed their legs and lifted the dumbbells well. Eight squirrels did squats. They all played tug of war. The rain came down in a rush. Splash, splash, splash. The end. A magic stone. Little spider doesn't go to school. He plays ski jump, which is cool. A splendid square is on the screen. It's the one where eight squirrels have been. The star on the stone starts to shine. At top speed, little spider moves to a pine. He sees a strong squirrel lift dumbbells. He will give it a try as well. He sees the star spray water on the dumbbells. He soon scrubs the dumbbells. He sees the dumbbells become little. He can lift them, though he is little. The end. A gift for mom. Rose wants to draw a picture on the postcard. She draws a lamb as a camel. She draws a honeycomb. As a bomb, she draws a shrimp as a worm. She draws a hump as a pyramid. Does she have any other ideas? She climbs up the ladder. And sticks it on the wall. Rose jumps up to get the frame just right there. She draws her mom on the postcard. She sticks a stamp on it and makes it done. She climbs up the ladder and sticks it on the wall. That's a gift for Mother's Day. The end. Brand the painter. Brand is a poor guy who loves to paint. He lives in a tent. He doesn't have a cent. He uses sand to paint on the land. A kind lady gives him a helping hand. She brings him a paintbrush and some paper. Brand thanks her and paints some pink flowers. 
He paints a duck swimming in the pond. He paints a frog hopping on the land. He paints a skunk sitting on a giant. He paints an elephant with a very long trunk. He paints an ant with two round earrings. All the people in the town love his paintings. The end. Bald Donald. Donald had hair when he was a child. He was bald when he was an adult. He dwelt in a rich town and had gold. He used all the gold to buy some salt. He used all the salt. But was still bald. On a cold night, he saw a colt. He went a long way as fast as he could. He saved a man with his belt. He was thanked as a result. He told the man he no longer wanted to be bald. He felt a touch on his head. Donald was no longer bald. The end. A happy day. We had a very happy day on Sunday. Mom baked a chocolate cake. I ate half of it and drank a glass of milk. Dad and I had a nice talk. My sister drew a wolf with a piece of chalk. Let's walk to the park. It's not far away from home, said Mom. Dad said, "Good idea. We can play golf." The golf ball was on the shelf. My sister couldn't get it by herself. Let me get it," said Dad. Finally, we got the ball. Then we had a good time at the park. The end. Frank the skunk. Frank the skunk went out to play. The duck hated him, so he left the pond. The colt. Hated him, so he left the tent. The camel hated him, so he climbed down the hump. The elephant hated him, so he climbed down the trunk. 
Frank the skunk passed by a wolf and a lamb. He drove away the wolf and saved the lamb. He followed the lamb to a child. He was given thanks and a bottle of milk. He was told to drink the milk. He went back the way he had come. Everyone liked Frank the skunk. The end. Jack and his friends. Jack the duck kicks a rock. He hurts his foot. He cannot walk. Jack's friends pick things from the store. They show up in front of Jack's door. The dog brings him a toy truck. The chick brings him a pair of socks. The pig. Brings him a bag of snacks. The drum goes bang. They sing a happy song. They watch a movie called The King and His Ring. They like the bird Robin, who has beautiful wings. Friends' company makes Jack feel much better. Their friendship will last forever. The end. A seven-colored glass. Jess wished she had. A seven-colored glass. She started to look for it after class. She went to the mall. The staff told her to go to a stall. She went to the stall. The guy told her to go to a mill. She pulled the door. The picture showed she should row a skiff. She set off. The map showed she should go to a cliff. She stopped at the cliff. She saw a small hole. She passed through the hole. She saw a small mole. She beat the mole at chess. She saw the mole puffing out some gas. She saw the glass having seven colors. Jess kissed her seven-colored glass. The end. The king and his ring. The king has lost his favorite ring. All the king's men. Look for the ring. 
they pull the chair away from the table. Under the table, they find an apple. They turn the pillow upside down. Under the pillow, they find the king's crown. The bird, Robin, flies out to play one day. He passes a mill on his way. He stands on top of the mill. He gets a shock. He sees something shining. It's between the rocks. Robin finds the ring. He takes it back to the king. The king feels very happy. He kisses Robin. The end. Helpful Bailey. Bailey is a lovely dog. Its eyes are very beautiful. Its nose is very helpful to policemen. It can run quickly when it meets bad guys. It is very careful when it helps old people. Young kids love to play with it. They are friendly to Bailey. Bailey makes them feel joyful. Bailey is very smart. It can do math correctly. We don't know how Bailey does it. We all love Bailey. The end. An interesting adventure. Pete and Steve went across a long bridge. An old castle was surrounded by hedge. A huge cage is in front of the castle. They walked into the castle and found a stage. It was too dark there, and Pete was scared. Steve touched something on the stage. It was an orange, and they ate it. They found a fridge in another room. They opened it, and a monster came out. They ran out of the castle quickly. They got a badge and laughed. They were in the fun fair. The end. Surprise! It's Mom's birthday today. She's going to have a big surprise. 
Jenny makes a lovely card. She spells every word correctly. Matt takes out some oranges from the fridge. He makes them into lamps. Dad makes a huge cake for Mom. Mom is back! Quickly! Let's get ready! Dad puts the cake on the table. Jenny puts the card on the cake. Matt lights all the orange lamps. Mom is so surprised. Everyone is joyful. The End The Country and the City Cooper lives in the country. He cuts wood with his father. He cooks food with his mother. He feeds cows in the shelter. He can even drive a tractor. Cindy lives in the city. She rides a bicycle on the street. She dances in open space. She races on the ice. She enjoys spicy food with rice. The country is nice. The city is nice. You can visit them both. The End The Goat and the Giraffe The goat and the giraffe go out to play. They play on the grass and walk far away. A golden bridge appears before their eyes. They cross the bridge. They ignore the warning signs. They see a huge house with many gems around. These gems are worth a lot of pounds. They see a table with some bread. The bread is as large as a sled. Suddenly, the giant comes out with a hare. The goat and the giraffe are rigid with fear. The giant tries to grab them with his magic hammer. They rush back home. They never cross the bridge, ever. The End All About Me I like to make new friends. I often take photos of my friends. 
I have many books. I can read them by myself. I like eating nuts and oranges. I always put them on different plates. I keep five birds in a cage. But they can't sing any songs. I have several boxes. You can find some toy buses, brushes, and watches. Do you know how many sides are on a box? Please tell me if you know the answer. The end. Jobs in town. People in town do different jobs. Actor is a job. An actor brings laughter to the audience. Doctor is a job. A doctor makes us healthy again. Professor is a job. A professor teaches students on a campus. Author is a job. An author writes books for us to read. Pilot is a job. A pilot flies a jet. In the sky. What job is your favorite for when you grow up? The end. Travel in the city. Jerry grows up in the country. He and his friends travel to the city one day. They take lots of photos. Jerry takes a photo of the birds. His friends take photos of cars and buses. They eat some yummy food. Jerry prefers the spicy noodles. His friends like hamburgers best. They read some books in the library. Jerry reads a book about giants. His friends read a book about pilots. They think the city life is different but nice. The end. The word world. Welcome to the word world. Say hello to the words sun and glasses. You will meet a new friend. Sunglasses. Say hello to the words snow and man. You will meet a new friend, snowman. When sun meets flower, the word sunflower comes out. When black meets board, the word Blackboard comes out. Moon and cake will make.
the word mooncake together. Foot and ball will make the word football together. Do you know how to make the word fireman? Do you know how to make the word rainbow? Come to the word world. The end. I felt so good. I felt so bored. I began to draw on a board. I got bored again. I knew I could do something new. My father threw a ball through the window. I threw the ball farther. My mother bawled at us and said we were not right. I came back. And began to write a tale. Once upon a time, a man had a tail. He went off to the sea to see a whale. Whether the weather was good or bad, he would swim with the whale. I liked my tail. I felt so good. The end. Jill and Bill. Jill and Bill are good friends, but they are different in many ways. Jill is thin and tall. Bill. Is fat and short. Jill's shoes are clean and new. Bill's boots are dirty and old. Jill likes swimming in hot summer. Bill likes sliding in cold winter. Jill is awake in the morning. Bill is still asleep at noon. Jill likes a sofa that is soft. Bill likes a chair that is hard. Jill writes with her right hand. Bill writes with the left. Jill draws a beautiful flower. Bill. Draws an ugly bug. Jill likes the huge elephant. Bill likes the tiny ant. However, they have one thing in common. They both like the zoo that they have already been to. The end. What can light do? Why do you wear sunglasses when the weather is sunny? It's because there's sunlight in the air. Light can go through the air and. Other clear objects. It will bend when going through glass or water. We can see a bent pencil in the water. Light can make shadows. We can make 
animals on the wall. Do you know what color the sunlight is? Spray some water on a sunny day. A beautiful rainbow will be in the air. The rainbow is seven different colors. Those are the colors of the sunlight. The end. Gift time. Jill and Bill flew to Animal Town. They brought gifts to all their friends. They gave a pink skirt to the bird. They gave golden boots. To the horse, they gave a brown suit to the owl. They gave a purple mask to the hare. They gave some beautiful plates to the skunk. They gave some helpful books to the squirrel. They gave a lovely sunflower to the giraffe. They gave a pair of sunglasses to the bear. Where is my gift? Said the tiny spider. He got a huge fridge. The end.